Another common oops in clipper cutting is a bad blend. We clipper cut the back and sides beneath the bottom portion of the haircut. We clipper cut the top and in between, the two just don't blend all that well. It's an easy oops to fix and there's two good ways to do it. Number one, snap on attachment guides or guards. In this case, use a large guard, a longer guard, longer than you think you might need. You can always cut it shorter, but you can't put it back on. Use that longer guard to go over that oops area, that area that doesn't blend, and see how that improved the blend dramatically? It made a big difference. It softened out that transition between the short and the longer hair. But if that's not enough, tip number two is come in with your comb at an angle. Come in at an angle like this. You look for the short hair in the leading edge of the comb and the longer hair above it. By holding the comb at an angle, you can see that step or that line as a triangle or a point sticking out of our comb. We then come in and we smooth it off against the comb. If you hold the comb horizontally like that and you cut across it, there's a tendency to put a new step in or to dig the existing hole a little bit deeper. And the number one rule when you're in a hole, stop digging. So when you see you've got that lip or that ledge or that ridge line of hair coming in at an angle like that with the comb at an angle, swiping up your clipper along the comb does a beautiful job of smoothing and blending that off. And that's tip number two for fixing an oops blend.